Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about stem cell therapy and its application. Why we are discussing about stem cell therapy now? Because Supreme Court given one important direction regarding the stem cell therapy. In this video, we are going to check what is this stem cell therapy is all about, what are the different types of stem cells and many more to come. So before we discuss further, first let us go through the syllabus mapping. First we will see how this particular topic is relevant to your UPC preparation. It is related to general studies paper 3 that is science and technology and the achievements of Indian science and, techno science and technology as well as the innovation methods in science and technology. Now in terms of the video components, in this video we are going to discuss about the stem cell therapy in detail. First why it is in use, then the background of the stem cell therapy, what are these stem cells and how the stem cell therapy works, what are the uses of the stem cell in medicine that means in which kind of disease this is going to be useful and generally stem cells wherever you use the stem cells the therapy is known as a regenerative therapy because you are regenerating the damaged tissue okay next the what are the limitations of the stem cell therapy what are the ethical issues around surrounding this stem cell therapy and which organization or which institution is responsible for the usage of this you know like stem cell therapy then in this particular case, Supreme Court allowed the stem cell therapy in one particular disease that is about the autism. So what is this autism is all about? Then finally we will draw the conclusion. These are the video components we are going to discuss about stem cell therapy. Now first you have to understand students, normally stem, where you will come across this word stem, stem generally you will come, you will get in the plant okay root stem shoot leaves okay but that that wording is different from here let me explain about the stem cells actually stem cells are the one first i'll give i'll give a brief overview about the stem cells then you will get an understanding for example students an individual or a human being a human he got injury he got injury okay as soon as a human got injured, okay, of course it resulted to the cell damage, cell damage it resulted to, then, then chemical substances will be released, chemical substance will be released, what is this chemical substance will do, it will go and act on the bone marrow, bone marrow, so bone marrow releases the stem cells, stem cells, okay, and these stem cells enter into the bloodstream, bloodstream, I am explaining in a very simplified manner, bloodstream and from bloodstream they reach to this, this injure site and they try to heal the process, rebuild the process. This is how stem cell works. For example, here the injury happened to the, you know, like uh, heart, you know, like that is known as cardiac muscle, okay, injury happened to the heart, heart, imagine. Now, the stem cell in the bone marrow, now it will be differentiated into heart, that means myocytes, okay, this, uh, you know, like cardiocyte, cardiac muscles, you know that, uh, this, it will replace into cardiac cell. Here, stem cell, based on how they can differentiate, stem cells can be divided into three ways, stem cells can be divided into three ways, based on how they can be differentiated. If a stem cell can be differentiated into any type of cell, okay any type of cell that is known as totipotency totipotency that means it have it has a capability to differentiate into any different types like how a ceo can do any type of job in a company that kind of liberty is there totipotency and there are some stem cells which can be differentiated into some limited range of cells they are known as pluripotency 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 okay and finally, the range further down, it, is, it leads to multipotency, multipotency. So, as we go from totipotency to, to multipotency, the regenerative capacity, the regeneration capacity of the cell will decrease. So, what are the most useful cells? Obviously, totipotency. Okay, this is based on their regeneration capacity. Of course, based on the human life, stem cells can be differentiated into two more types if they if we found them in the embryonic stage then they are known as embryonic stem cells embryonic stem cells or else if we found these stem cells in the adult different tissues they are known as adult stem cells adult 
stem cells. Obviously, the embryonic stem cell regeneration cap capacity is more compared to the adult stem cell regeneration capacity. That means embryonic stem cells, they can regenerate into different types. That means that their application is very wide. Now tell me students, sometimes adult stem cells also can be converted into embryonic stem cell. Adult stem cell can be converted into embryonic stem cell. That is known as induced stem cells or induced pluripotency they are known as okay induced stem cells they are known as adult to embryonic we'll discuss about this this is about the stem cell concept okay now so tell me students this stem cells apart from bone marrow okay apart from bone marrow what is the other place nowadays it is becoming very popular what is the other place where you will find stem cells in the human body okay apart from bone marrow where you will find stem cells very frequently so this is the conceptual understanding regarding the stem cells now we will see why it is in news let's see students try to understand delhi high court they given orders these orders include they allowed the usage of stem cells in a particular disease that disease about the which one that is autism spectrum disorder asd okay autism spectrum disorder it involves the lack of coordination in the communication skills lack of understanding to the human being and uh, this these are the general attributes of the autism spectrum disorder in this so far we are using the uh, traditional medicine now instead of that the supreme court allowed the usage of the stem cell to to cure this disease about the stem cells they can differentiate it into any type of cell so they are the undifferentiated biological cells if you use the stem cells obviously that is known as stem cell therapy in any particular disease like i said earlier from skin skin cells if you induce pluripotency that is known as induced pluripotent cell then that can be differentiated into even the neuron also that means from skin cell you are developing even the neuron by inducing that particular cell this is known as induced pluripotency you cannot induce the totipotency you can induce only the pluripotency very very important okay so here the regarding the pluripotent i told you already so this totipotency it can be developed into any type whereas pluripotential into only some type and multipotent the range is very less okay next two main category of stem cells pluripotent stem cells as well as the induced pluripotent stem cells pluripotent stem cells are the natural one where the induced one these are the adult stem cells which converted into pluripotent cells okay and based on the you know like based in which age they are present i already told you these stem cells are two types they are the embryonic stem cells as well as the you know like adult stem cells how the stem cell therapy works stem cells will be extracted and then in a suitable condition the stem cells will be allowed or exposed into conditions in such a manner that these stem cells will be differentiated into other types of cells they produce specialized cells generally in which areas this stem cell therapy will be used when the damaged neurons are there to replace the damaged neurons and in any individual if in, if pancreas got damaged to, instead of the damaged pancreas again to produce the more tissue fresh tissue of the pancreas then this somatic this you know like the cells will be used stem cells will be used then to replace if you know like any organ got injured or else you know like to study any particular disease uh, by using stem cell you can produce those kind of cells and you will test the drug on that particular cells so that it will be useful in the r and d as well research and development normally in traditional medicine such as you know like leukemia lymphoma here the treatment is very you know like very uh, painful to the patient in this kind of conditions the, by using the stem cells we can induce the stem cells and through that even we can able to regenerate various types of blood cells so we can easily overcome the this kind of you know like uh, leukemia or any type of blood related diseases what are the advantages obviously they are useful in the regenerative medicine and uh, patient will expose it to the less amount of the drugs that means very less interference patient can recover very fast natural healing and if there are any complications the complications also can be prevented these are some of the advantages regarding the stem cells then what are the limitations limitations are obviously 
especially when you are taking out adult stem cells from your body obviously their capacity to be differentiated into different types of cells that is very limited even though you can induce that is successful very less times so that is one of the thing and second one is regarding the ethical issues are there so very very you know like very less number of times this ethical clearance will be given in this particular case also that ethical clearance was not given because of that only they went to the high courts next in which disease this delhi high court approved autism spectrum disorder it is a neurological and developmental disorder what are the symptoms difficulty in communication skills and in interaction with other peoples and lack of response and it's more or less you know like they are unable to have some you know like smooth daily cognitive life that is about this particular disease and there is no cure for this asd so far the only cure is using the behavioral therapy and uh, training the person into the social skills and all these things and psychiatric drugs now so we are using this tomato somatic cells let's see how this kind of you know like this therapy will give results because nowadays these stem cells are marketed in such a manner that they are offering solution to every disease let's see next the background so who who restricted the usage of the stem cells in this particular disease the ethics and medical registration board emrb they did not allow the usage of the stem cell therapy in this particular disease because they opinion that it is nothing but a professional misconduct but of course high court allowed this in this particular case in a restricted manner the high court opinion that the general validity of stem cells of course there are certain restrictions are there but in this particular case stem cells should be allowed it is permitted the even the national medical council nmc to take the final view on the recommendation of this you know like stem cells according to the nmc act that means in which conditions stem cells can be allowed and in which conditions stem cells will, should not be allowed the therapy that final call has to be taken by the national medical council that was observation by the delhi high court now the study videos question baramdeo wildlife sanctuary present in which state chatisgarh next question india's first a school recently seen in the news it was set up in which of the following states kerala next which one which one of the following is the best description of entasia it is about the bio fungicides next which one of the following country does not share a land border with the baltic nations finland finland is not sharing any land border with the baltic nations then halangapar gibbon sanctuary recently seen in news it is located in assam then we'll see today's video question okay students with reference to stem cells and stem cell therapy consider the following statements under this therapy stem cells are manipulated to stem cells are manipulated to specialized into specific types of cells it is a non surgical procedure with no incisions of the body which of the following statements are right may question describe briefly what stem cell therapy is and what are advantages it is having over other treatments this is the main question now as we reach to the end of this video so let us summarize what we discussed in this video we discussed about stem cell therapy what is stem cell therapy what are the different types of stem cells and supreme this uh, delhi high court allowed this stem cell therapy in which particular disease what are the advantages and what are the challenges in the stem cell therapy these are the areas we discussed in this video so this is the detailed analysis regarding the stem cell therapy and its applications Thank <laughs> you.